coming to the mental health program at the Hampton Roads Regional Jail. We found out about them today while working to learn more about the death of 24-year-old J. Michael Mitchell. He died in his cell in August. Tonight, we know more about his cause of death and what will be different now at the jail. Only on 10, Aaron Kelly talked to a board member about the changes. Aaron? Yeah, I talked to Norfolk City Councilman Andy Protegiro, who said that the jail's medical contract was going to be up in October and that the death of Mitchell and other issues factored into the board's discussion about this new contract. It's been four months since 24-year-old J. Michael Mitchell died in his cell at the Hampton Roads Regional Jail. He was arrested in April for allegedly trespassing and stealing snacks from a 7-Eleven in Portsmouth. A judge ordered Mitchell to be taken to a mental health facility, but no beds were available. According to the medical examiner's office, Mitchell likely died from a heart problem and weight loss. The jail's investigation found nothing criminal and no evidence of foul play involving inmates or staff. An official there said they did all they could, but a mental health facility could have done more for Mitchell. You're talking about a facility that at many times 50% of the people that are there are on some type of psychiatric medications. Andy Protegiru sits on the board of the Hampton Roads Regional Jail. He says changes are coming to the jail's medical contract. There's an increased hours for a psychiatrist and psychologist. The most mentally ill will receive staffing. 16 hours a day, two different shifts. Protegiru says in September of 2014, 38% of inmates there were on psychiatric medication. A year later, the number had jumped to 54%. Each pod will receive a decentralized sick call, and that will make sure that the nurse's station and examination room are open 24-7. It's not clear when the changes will go into effect. And I left messages for the jail and the Mitchell family attorney, but have not heard back from them. The family's lawyer did say that they had thought that Mitchell wasn't taking his medication or eating. The jail says that Mitchell returned his food trays empty and that they couldn't force him to take his medication. Live at the Hampton Roads Regional Jail, I'm Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.